welcome back to the channel. We are on an important mission today. We need to get firewood out of the woods. The problem is, the problem is it's, it's super muddy. I had loaded this, man, the driveway looks good. I hit the driveway with the box blade yesterday. Anyways, I had loaded a tote in the woods the other day and I went to leave with that tote and the tractor sunk to the point where I thought it was stuck. Uh, so I had to abandon the tote to get the tractor out. So I've been waiting for some cold days. We've had a couple cold days here in a row. It's still kind of early this morning. What was that? So I'm thinking the ground should be frozen enough for me to drive across it and uh, get our tote. So.
come up with a game plan here. This this is where I just came in at, and it's not bad. I'd like to get this wood The closest I'm gonna be able to get, I'm afraid, is right here. I'm gonna to have to work for it. I guess I'll just toss it over. I'm actually gonna be clearing a, a lot of this area out this spring. I'm gonna take down most of these trees here. A good cluster of them anyway. I hate to do it, but I need to get the barn up here. The barn there needs to come up to right here. This is higher ground and I need to be able to access the barn easier with the tractor. And I just came through there, right behind the barn there, it's just, it's just a sinkhole. And I've, eventually I'm gonna fill that in, but it would be better if the barn was up here. More water would shed away from it. So that's the spring. I hate to cut down more trees, but honestly, most of these trees are kind of dead anyway. So it's not, I'm not losing anything. Oh, like there's a big dead ash right there. I should drop that. <clears throat> a lot of firewood in that buddy right there and I bet it's all dry, ready to burn. It's gonna come down eventually anyway. But, uh, well, I think that's an ash tree too, isn't it? Is that ash? Looks like ash to diamonds. Yeah, that one's gonna come down. Save on these hickories. And maples. Oh, iron, or uh, elm right there, I believe. That beech tree's probably gonna go. This is, uh, I got started cutting this ash tree. I'm gonna cut some more on that today, possibly. Of course the wind picks up. But yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, I'll just drop the basket down there and fill it up. It's a little bit more work, but I'd like to get that firewood off the ground and I don't see any other way in. Of course I could come. What if I cleaned up? If I cleaned up these pallets right here, I could nose right between these two trees, huh? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good spot. I could get most of this. I won't be too far to carry it. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna clean these pallets up and uh, nose in between these trees.
split some of this down so it fits in the coat better. Adler splitter yet. <sighs> I don't know what you're waiting for. Yeah, we gotta fix this. A, this is a pretty good size rock. We're not we're not gonna go back out this way. This is my road. I gotta get some gravel. I'm gonna move it though. I'm gonna move it probably this way. I don't know. We'll see.
like some pretty nice dry wood it was kind of off the ground even though it was on the ground it was kind of elevated so that'll burn good anything will burn in this wood stove so i'm not real worried about it. this ash this dead standing ash is going to be real good that's as good as seasoned wood for this outdoor wood boiler um i guess i could put the moisture meter on i really don't care it's going in we only have i don't know how many more weeks of cold weather uh, what is this? February 27th? I don't know. So all of March, probably, going to have to run the, run the boiler. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm out of wood. That's for sure. This will give me, I'm going to say, two, co two totes. So that's two-thirds of a cord. Plus the one I took up there. So I just, basically, I'm going to have a quarter of wood. I don't know if it's going to get me to the end of March or not. If I can make it till March, I'll, I'll be happy to turn the furnace on in April there for the few cold days that we'll need it. Um, it'll probably just be easier to burn uh, propane anyway. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to get this cleaned up. I'll have to go back up to I'll top off this tote here, go back up to the house, get another tote. Get all this off the ground. Get all the sticks over in the burn pile. Make it look pretty. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. This hat, this rain bucket. I, I found this thing online. Let me see. Uh, I can't remember. Skull bucket. Built with pride in the USA. Anyways, it's a um, it's a metal hard hat. Really cool. I like this thing. Looks good. Looks classic. Anyway, the this the headgear that holds it to your head sucks. It's awful. It's all plastic, and there was a piece of foam in the front there that was digging into my forehead. So I cut a piece of suede and replaced it. Um, there's got to be an upgrade for this. This is this is terrible. I'd like to see something much nicer. So I don't know. Maybe I need to go to their website see if they sell an upgraded kit. I do like the way it looks, though. It looks cool, and it's green. All right, back to work. I don't know if I've ever split hickory.
kidding. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up today's video. I basically got a quarter wood. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see how long that gets us. Part of that last load there was willow, so I'll have to mix that in with the hardwood. I don't think it's going to burn as good. But, it's something. It's better than nothing. So hopefully we don't have to go back out in the woods again until the uh, ground dries out a little bit. It's it's pretty nasty back there, so we're all around here. <laughs> so, till the next time, guys. We'll see you.